Ladies and Germans, it's Thursday. This is Conover. And I'm Ring Roo. Hello, hello, hello. And folks, we told you on Tuesday we bring it to 2v2 and we deliver. I know, theoretically, you know, Thursday should be for 3v3s. And, you know, if you guys want to see them, you got to send us them. Yeah. But for right now, let's stick with the 2v2 that we do have. Um, Definitely on the tiny town of St. Mary Glees, uh, Rang, who is slogging it out? Well, on the left-hand side in blue rehab, let me see your war face. Er, He's playing as 2nd Infantry Division. That was how my war face sounds. And then we have Metschel as SAS. Right-hand side, we have RFD Sturmovic PL as 17th SS. And Walter as 91st Laughland. Duh. Now, I'm, I'm fascinated by one thing. We actually are seeing a starting support truck. What? Where? Yeah. What the? Stimul I'm Stimulific. guessing. Stimulific. Okay, look at that uh, second like armored column oh, yeah. that we have there. It's very interesting. It's not something we've. I don't. I don't ever see it actually. I'm guessing he's getting the labor rail threat start, so you you only really got one like barrage of it. So it does. It does make sense. Yeah, we're also seeing a goddamn BMW, which is also a unit we never really see all too often. Ah, uh, yes, Hans McQueen. I'm super Hans excited McQueen, for that. Hans yeah. Uh, but how these guys gonna match up? So it looks like for the most part, what second infantry is facing off against well, Shemnevik. How's that gonna? Which way is that gonna go? This is it's gonna be really interesting because all divisions are pretty heavy infantry divisions. To be entirely honest, your SAS becomes a tank division once you phase it, and seventeenth is like stuck force. But I think it's definitely gonna come down to a pretty big infantry brawl in the town as we see it's a cluster. But also up north, Metro is in. A pretty big push up here of second infantry. Got a lot of guys being brought in to try and secure that northern farm. Actually, you know what's really sad? Stumnovic is not really moving in. Oh, is that column? We got to okay. micro right at the start. That's gonna cost them a few seconds. One thing also worth calling out: there is an off-map call in here for 210 millimeter. I would not be surprised to see them just start tossing down a couple of artillery arty barrages right here on the western side of that town. Yeah, that's probably be a good idea. It's pretty pretty classic 91st opener, opening up, proof the off-map artillery. But Metro's already about to get a good position in the town as he has those saboteurs. And also getting a lot of Maki Sards in there. And those Maki Sards are going to be rather tough to round out. You're probably going to want, you know, probably 210mm artillery fire to get them out of their buildings. Very, very true. But those flush makers, those flush makers are hold pretty well. The oh, SS yeah. trooper, on the other hand, not quite so much. Not so much indeed. They're nice and cheap. Do you think that maybe what Walter is trying to do is just level the town so that way he can level the playing field, or no? Yeah, I, I feel like that's definitely what he's going for. As that's going to get some rubber nice hits on the Maki Sards, as you see, forcing them all to fall on back, and that's a loud foul shaker's time to. Move them back and get a good defensive position in the town. Indeed, but the Marquis Sards will go after the SH Troopin. And, and it's weird. I kind of want to say that the Marquis Sards are way too heavy to be a recon squad, but they, because they, they've just. <laughs> look at that. It's, I know, it's like a troll man squad. It's. They're, they're really quite big. But I guess because, like, the whole idea is that, like, like French partisan units, they know the country, so they. Oh, so not ran a bunch of military gear. Blah blah Zero. blah. All of that, so they're probably. It's just this French Eugene bias, you know. Um. Also worth noting, we have a storage aircraft coming up to the north, and while the second artillery brush is going to come in, prepare to see the naval Werfer fire the second that he really knows where the enemy's front lines are. Mm -hmm. I really like seeing his storage. I just want yeah. to see his point of view from Sturmovic, and. Well. Yeah, he's... Here's that artillery. Yeah. Trying to counter battery the 62mm, which is definitely a good call. A 60mm is a rather na nasty piece of work, so that's your freestyle veteran C. And. Mission completed. Yeah, but not enough to get the kill. Yeah, but you know what's going to keep them back, and the Ranger mortars are going to be kept at a great distance. And in the meantime, the excellent off map barrages have really allowed the Germans to make a concerted push into the town. Mm-hmm. And one Fadshager scrolled, making some good progress, which is pretty good as Fadshagers in complete CQC environments don't do too well, but 
But he just keeps, you know, a nice 100 meter line between him and any French infantry. He should do pretty well. Especially Hotkiss infantry. Those guys are kind of a joke, but um, regardless. Uh, looking down to the south, uh, we do have the possibility that that captured Panther three there uh, could definitely face off against a 39 H, but I do not see that Renault tank really causing a lot of issues. Yeah, soon. we've got an AT gun being brought down here too. Also Probably true. Probably Pack Buddy six, but still it happening just more or not. Really quite surprised how neither side is really focusing on the southern flank. Both sides were like middle and north, middle and north. That's all we're gonna do. So I guess southern side is just, you know, it's just, it's just the outskirts. We're just gonna, we just wanna focus up north a bit. Make it but nice and easy. Can you blame them? Oh, whoa, no. actually we got a three, we have three machine guns being brought in by Strumlevik. Oh damn, that is a lot of DACA. Um, but can you blame them though? I mean, like you said before, these are infantry divisions. This is not going to be a, well, a vehicle, a lot of vehicle play until, you know, phase B. And phase B is still mm -hmm. another five minutes away. Indeed, indeed. No, uh, off map on uh, off map's gonna be really good hit. If he can knock out the hot kiss, that'll be a very good kill. We also got the heavy mortar here from second infantry mm -hmm. pounding away at the town, and <laughs> and that's the town. That's the town. Got a few. Uh, got a rally squad and Maki Sarge really left in there, but everyone else is forced to bugger on out. Yeah, so that's taking new fire in positions. Well, and Ulig is right there to cause a lot of extra veterancy for a lot of people. I think that's another one of the eight Bosch makers moving on in. Now, hmm? I would be fascinated to know, first of all, where the second barrage is going to be from this naval VFO. Um, and the storage is going to die. You monster. I, it's, it's probably going to be the CGMC at this point already. Yeah. No. No, no, no. It's going to be... It, oh, oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> cast just cast. And you almost crashed into the neighbor of her, that, that might actually would have made me cry. <laughs> that would have made me laugh. We have very Yo. different sensitive humor, apparently. <laughs> I like the... Like, I have a very explosive humor, so to speak. I think there are those who call something different from that, but uh, if you say so. I do love having this machine gun platoon, uh, platoon moving forward. Uh, three MG42s. <laughs> kind of funny to watch, you know, squad to squad bound forward. Mm -hmm. um, and worth noting, our first points are on the board. Now, we haven't really talked a lot about what happened in the north here. In fact, a lot of my attention has been on the town. I don't know about you. Yeah, it's been on the town for sure. We have a Stug that's holding strong. Mm -hmm. We have a Sherman that's completely and totally worthless. Okay. And the Germans, I think, are potentially pushing towards cleaning up the south. They only have a, a pop yeah. gun down here with the Pac-36, but that's still worth uh, noting. Yeah, one foul taker squad manages on the fourth bank, goes two rallies and getting into a good position by the horseshoe, yeah. Which is a great defensive position to hold on to. Whereas foul taker and Ursatch is, if he can hold on to that area, that's really gonna put the game in the German favor. Well, even more so, this Pack 36 can get a shot off onto that Panther 3. Heck, if the Renault tank can do it. Driver knocked out. That's yeah. important. Ammo storage is important to. Fire again, you fool. So we Heck. got a friend. Yeah, please. I just realized we got a friend tank manned by Germans, and then we got a German, German tank, tank manned, manned by, by the French. French. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The order of Normandy, 1944. Uh, worth noting, we have an FU, uh, you know, the Firkenona, Non und Dreizig, looking for that artillery park, and he's nailing it. Oh my god. He's yeah. pounding the snot out of that. And actually, the mortars have no way to get back at him either, so... Oh yeah, I think they... Maybe there's a lot of out of range. And it's only one star, but that's still nothing to sneeze at. If you, if you had gotten lucky they hit that duck, uh, that would have been a dead duck for one. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, you know, it's not rabbit season. So. Oh. Ooh. And then we also have a Junker 87 to the north. Looks like the Stug has gone down in the meantime. Um, unfortunately, I do not see where it killed it. My guess is... 
not the Sherman. I think it's the Reigns of Marauders. It uh, wasn't that. They they still have full. May may have been the fifty-seven huh. mil. That's um, something we'd have to check. Three die. four. Oh wow! Whoa! That was really surprising. Pulled off last second. Yeah, the flank civilian or flank civilian saving the day. Yeah. You know, I, this is probably what it is. I keep imagining um, longest day when they have I don't know, long story when they're dropping the little dolls the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Germans are firing up with everything they've got. There's like a, I feel like that the flak wheeling is that four cannon thing you see some guys make this hefty bark. It is terrifying to mm -hmm. hear. I'm probably wrong, but that's all I can think of right now. I mean, it's it's a very good idea. Right, have one twenty millimeter auto cannon, right? Where you can just have four. I mean, Erasmus did it in the code draw. Exactly. Well, they were watching okay. the Germans. They were like, "Hey, this works. Why not? Yeah, Let's do it." Yeah, it works. Just, just, just more. The Dakar Ray is the best Ray. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, the Char B One is well. He's in the area as well. So now we have French tank on French tank. Oh dear. But despite this, the Germans are having themselves a bit of a field day. They have pushed west for quite a bit down in the south. Mm -hmm. That looks to be getting cleaned up ever so slowly. And meanwhile, the town is back in French hands. And let me see your war cry. It's doing the same thing we saw on Tuesday. Dispatching huge swathes of infantry all at one time. And right before the phase changes over as well. Indeed. And we are into phase B now, so... Both sides have more stuff available to them, as that's usually how the phase system work. If I if I if I recall. I think you recall correctly, good sir. Thank you. You know, pack three to the north. Dude, he's like ah, Oh my god. You had one job. He's gonna get a second shot off at least. In total fragments, okay. Okay, there we go. Yes. Fire again, you fool. Doesn't have line of sight, unfortunately. Ay, ay, ay. But better than nothing. Well, that's better than nothing. I suppose that is true. Yeah. I thought Sherman's going to have to fall back and get resupplied and raid around for all the ammunition to be loaded in. And by that time, the Stug's going to be on position. That Stug is a rather nasty customer. Meanwhile, Nebo Buffer will probably fire to the north. I think he has mm -hmm. got a he's got a kill order coming on in. Oh yeah. There we go. It's time if they could probably do some more naval rafters too. You know, you can never have enough naval rafters. This one naval rafter has been doing a pretty good job. And this is one naval rafter. Third barrage? The third barrage I think he's had. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, oh, no. I am surprised that the Germans have lost as much of the towns as they have. Yeah. Yes, the Demi Brigade is fearsome in close combat, but I didn't think it was quite that fearsome. I think the B run really sealed the deal for the town and after losing all the elf max strikes. Is that 1v1? This is pretty much annihilating everything. And it comes in contact with me as Fauchegas aren't close enough to Panzer Faust it. And they're gonna die. They're gonna die. Well, I hate to say that that was not a foregone conclusion, but that pretty much is a foregone conclusion. Mm -hmm. Probably also, could have used some Panzer Strikes in the town. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, also worth noting, I don't know what has stressed them out, but the Nebelwaffe and the Opal Blitz are both rather terrified individuals right now. Oh yeah, I think they're hmm, probably probably something. Oh, I think it's the. No, it's not. No, it's not. I have no idea. I'm just gonna leave it yet. Well, folks, you heard it here first. Prime Gru doesn't know. Nah, I was gonna go that. That that comes off kind of harshly. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's cool. I thought it was. Meanwhile, the MG platoon comes under firepower, and the B1 goes down to a Junker. Lovely jubbly. I have no and idea what that means, but I'll just nod sagely. It's 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 means like very good. Ah, just chuffed, are you? Yeah, just absolutely absolutely chuffed with that kill. A Stuka's a right ledge, you know, going in and just smashing down at B1. Can we talk about the hero pack forty that's going to happen here? Oh yeah. We can talk about him all right. Mr. Lotcher is just watching away, and one day he's just gonna walk where well, the Panzer Freeze are see hidden behind cover. And well, the he's not gonna off. get one kill. I don't know how he just died, but it wasn't because uh, it's well, a Messerschmitt. No, it was I, a Messerschmitt. I just made the Yorker. 
Was it the... Was the Incas also firing at it? Because the Mazda Smith also streaked at the same time. Well, We're going to have to see the history. Though. And the Pack 40 gets a kill. Yo, so the it. Allied Air Power, yo, two star Tempests are not to be sniffed at. Or trifled with. Or trifled with, for sure. Bless him. Bless him. Uh, now here's going to be interesting. The FU 39 is going to get one shot off. No, not even. I would have been fascinated had he been able to get a kill on that Sherman. Mm hmm. Well, that's not going to be the case. Yeah, Mr. Let me see, Warface is just pretty much making a lovely breakthrough up north. His rifle spam is really putting quite a bit of a trifle on Sturmafig's defenses here as he's bringing in pioneers. It's just, that's a lot of rifles. That's a lot of rifles. At the same time, yo. Water could probably pop the pimple down south and just deal with these SAS Sessures and then the Partisans, and he's gonna pretty much have the whole southern flank under his control, so we're really seeing punch for punch on both flanks. Yes, we are. Yes, we are, and I think he, he's... Oh... <coughs> he did not consider that well. His position was not considered well. He thought he was gonna get a surrender. Unfortunately for him, there is a leadership role open in the company, and, well... That little Falshimiga Fiora down there wants to fill it, so... Mm -hmm. With that blister, at that pimple, as you call it, being popped... Um, well, Metzl is actually getting thrown back towards the sea. I'm fairly surprised by this. Yeah. I mean, realistically, this should probably not be happening. But one brave man with a uh, captured Panzerfaust may stopgap the entire attack. Here it comes. He's behind a tree. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. In the meantime, though, there has been a gun run going after that Stug. It works beautifully in a double D tank. He's going to take that out. Oh, yeah. Pops around the corner and rivets. Lovely stabilizers. The M4DDs. Going to get some quick shots. On that the literally ball. will come in every cast. That will come in every cast now. Except for, unless we see a division, I think the only division that doesn't have it is Six Airborne. And probably some of the Russian ones when it comes out. <laughs> and of course some of the Russian runs. But yeah, Six Airborne, only division to not have any variety until the Sherman tank. The more you know. Do, 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 do. Thank you Brought for the sound effect. NBC. <laughs> Uh, Nebo Puffer is ready to fire again, I, and he's gonna fire down to the south, so that he will not be able to save, save the Stug, and probably won't even be able to save that Pigren. But God help me, he will blow a hole in that rifle spam. Yeah, it's just, it's just like some Imperial Guard stuff right here, just, just throwing in all the riflemen. And I would say Sturmlevik is doing an equally Imperial Guard thing. Shell your own lines, let the brave men hold. <laughs> The Ugh. Commissar will not be happy if you retreat. Exactly. Not one, not one step back. If you Full lose Imperium. your weapon, draw your knife. If you lose your knife, use your fists. If the enemy shoots off your fist, bite them. And after that, I kind of forget the rest of the line. But it's equally inspiring and kind of depressing mm -hmm. at the same time. Do you it's no like... I mean, I understand why not, because it'd be really nice, but having, like, bayonet charges... Oh, I mean, no. That happens cool. at one point. That happens at one point. There's a there's an entire book that's told from, I want to say it's like the Cadian Tank Regiment. They're on Armageddon, trying to get oh yeah, a Bane Blade or something like that back. And one of the infantry regiments, along with this armored tank division or regiment, whatever the hell it is, um, starts going and gets it engaged by a bunch of orcs while they have bayonets and they're basically their last guns. <laughs> As you might suspect, it does not go particularly well for the Imperial Guard. I can imagine. I can imagine. But I was also meaning in, uh, in Steel Division. Oh, I thought you meant 40k for a second. I was like, <laughs> that is definitely possible, but it will not be wonderful. Yeah. Um, it looks like there's going to be maybe one time for one last naval buffer barrage right to the front before he gets taken out by these rifles. Um, yes, the Flak Veerling is in the area, but he's not really close enough to do a whole lot of good. Oh, no. And the P47 and the... is coming in. Yeah, that's probably enough. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Ha! Huh. Lucky bastards. Oh, it's just a small people who's having bombs, I believe. <coughs> well, somebody's firing somebody. 
Yep, and Allied Air Supremacy is not to be tried for. Especially with both SAS and 2nd Infantry, as they both have really good air power, especially when it comes to fighters. Yes, they do. It's the, it's the perfect fighter combo. Got those, you know, nippy, fast P-38s and P-47, and you got the rugged and reliable Tempest to... and veteran Tempest to do everything else. At the same time. Oh, Storm the Vic oh. is tapped out. We don't know if it's uh, I mean, of course, we never know if it's a tap out of or if he got a DC in terms of internet being cut or something. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was a tap out as it's not no, looking too good. That is a tap out. It yeah, it's like, a tap it out. Yeah. The game otherwise. Yeah. So uh, that's not going to be good for Water. I mean, Water's kind of he's making really good progress down south, and the axes are still running, you know, in terms of points. Yeah, they are running. It's just about whether the line can be hold, held up north against this this blue rave of, well, of things. And we have talked about the fact that um, very often, if the AI has nothing else better to do, it will just throw troops into the meat grinder, and that, frankly, is exactly what's needed here. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That's... And it's also a very narrow front, really, where... Let me steal war faces pushing, mm -hmm. but maybe just throwing in everything in the kitchen sink from the AI point of view will be enough to hold. It's just about whether the AI is smart enough to kill these Sherman DDs. It's a really the pain in the ass. Well, that was a B3, so that's a good start. Yeah, water getting a good kill, yeah. And if he can just knock out his M4s, the rifles are pretty much uh, easy to do. As they really rely on fire support. Oh, here comes Gabby. It's been a while. Yeah, I was just saying, we actually, we don't think I've seen him in several games with the 2nd Infantry. Yeah. That's a shame. That's a lovely hero unit. It has a really cool skin. Really, really, I really like Gabby's skin. That, that got a little sound to the Lambsy there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love feeling Gabby's skin. <laughs> oh, Curse no. you, Jake Peralta. Curse you. Yeah. Ugh. Internal fire on that Sherman... If that 2nd Infantry tank goes down to the north, there's not a whole else, lot else in there. Yeah. So Regardless, maybe... Yep. Oh, maybe Water can even win this, even though he is down 18, mate. He is getting pushed a little bit in the... in the southern middle area. He was going to, is going to be holding strong, and hold strong he does. Well, that's one thing he knows how to do. This Junker, okay, the Junker comes back with the 14, you know, carpet bombing things. Might even take out a couple of these vehicles, which would be an excellent... Th oh, no. Okay. Oh. This year to get him off a little bit. Meanwhile, down to the south... Uh, Young Panzer has been here for quite a bit of time. And it looks at those Chasseurs as well... Uh, oh, actually, two Chasseurs units. Those aren't the same ones, never mind. I was going to say, oh my god, those guys have survived all of that German fighting, but <laughs> nope, that's that's, nope. that's impossible. No. Nope. The Ark Panzer is definitely an interesting choice, it's not really doing anything. I mean, I understand it has it all the defense, but it's not really doing anything. We got big anti uh, Flak 88 being brought into the southern middle. And the pack 14 stuff in middle two is that going to be enough to kill Sherman? I doubt it. No, it's, it misses, of course. And down goes pack 40. I just had a look at the pack th the uh, flak 36 that's been brought up to the center north. Oh god, that is a pretty decentish position. Well, again, Walter at this point, he's playing both sides of the map. You can see, actually, if you kick over to his vision, um, he's starting to deploy units. Oh, yeah. Yep, and while his B3 has just gone down, though I can't say for sure where that just happened. Oh, northeastern side, courtesy of Metzl's troops. Um, like we've been saying, as long as he's able just to keep things from sliding too far out of control, he could get this. Of course, that said, he would have to hold on for another 15 minutes, and judging by that massive 
massive wave of Let Me See Your War Cry, as well as that xylophone ready to play those troops onto the battlefield, I do not know that that's going to be entirely possible. Yeah, this is this is really just gonna, gonna gonna come down to a numbers game up north, I imagine. And that xylophone's a really false multiplier when it comes to that. That is very true. Mm -hmm. Stuck you. Again, a good trade off with the Sherman, yeah. On the northern side, the Sherman is gonna wisely back out. Well, I'll tell you what else is not gonna wisely back out. P-47 Thunderbolt's coming in with the big bombs, and that's going to get rid of pretty much everything in that small area. Like the free rise men delivering gifts. <laughs> Gold, frankincense, and kaboom. <laughs> I want to quick check for myself. Yeah, the, I always feel like the xylophone should have a much longer range than 1,300 meters. Yeah, it's just more rocket artillery. I mean, usually, yeah, I, I see, I kind of see what you mean. Yeah. But in the meantime, down to the south, those two uh, M4A3s, they're going to pretty much rip through anything that Walter's got left in the area. Oh, um, yeah. If his Airsat's ally had not quite fallen back, he might have had a chance here. Uh, Tempest's going to take out his other B3 in a second. Yeah, those guys, he's got his mountainless four cannons. That's, that's pretty hefty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was Sherman's in the southern middle, and there's no... Proper AT. I mean, yeah, you got the Flak 88, but he's in a terrible position to engage with Shermans. That's really going to lose, you know, southern middle bold. And that, that was really the thing keeping Walter in the match so far. Indeed. And there we go now. We're actually getting a plus one over here for the Americans and the, let's just call it the UKF. Okay. Um, United Kingdom and France. And I just, mm -hmm. I want to see this first barrage from this Alaphone. I can, I can feel like it's coming soon. Whoa. What happened? Flak 88? There's a Flak 88 shot. Okay, so he just freaked out like 19 things by doing it once. Yeah, they're, they're really close to that rifle squad. Or really rifle platoon with how close they're all together. Jeez. Well, I, I had the xylophone highlighted and it suddenly disappeared. And I was like, it's not dead, is it? But no, it wasn't <laughs> nope. dead. He's just uh, tactically repositioning in a far location. Indeed he is. Mm -hmm. And once again, this computer... Well, he's held a lot. In fact, I think he's even recovered some of it, too. Yeah, but also at the same time, Rota's daughter is... He has, like, a stuck free up north. On the tippity top north. True. Dealing with the Sherman, so that's helping out quite a bit. Shh, the AI's improved. Shh, last, last patch. <laughs> when was the last patch? Uh, good question. Yeah, it's not uh, got down too long. Xylophones in the meantime, though, that is sweet, sweet music, unless you're German. The Germans are much more marimba kind of people. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to do a devastating amount of morale damage, if nothing else. And with that, the I would say the rifle squads could just start pouring on in. Well, Walter's brave, brave air power, outnumbered and outgunned. Is going to go hardcore. It takes out one plane, but he's probably going to buy it himself here. Yeah, the other Flak 88 on the southern side. Not going to be able to shoot as he's been suppressed, and it goes to Luftroff. Yep. Luftroff is now going to be forced to Luftland as he's all being shot down. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, but alright, so, um,. The half track, the, one of those flak tracks over there, not quite the same one we had seen on Tuesday, but another flak track pretty much taking out those mortars. Um, but amusingly enough, despite the flak track engaging pretty much anything in sight and, and probably running out of ammo just before he dies, um, I do not believe the Germans are going to turn this around. No, time, no, like, I, I, it's really just uh, tipped in the Allies' favor. Mm -hmm. And I think we are going to be seeing a tap out in just a few seconds. Yeah, water taps out. And that's, that's a bit of a shame because they really had it. Like, even though he's being pushed pretty hard up north, Sturmovic, he probably could have held and give water enough breathing room to continue with his southern push. Because I was working really around that southern push. It was. It yeah. was. That is a shame. That's a real shame. Uh, but in the meantime, though, what are we going to see? Well, 
kind of a lopsided KD for the Axis players. Um, historically as well, well, Germans doing fairly well early on against Metzl. That was the courtesy of the off-map call-in. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it, goes, it kind of goes back and forth quite a bit. Yeah. The Stug did go down at the start to the AT gun. That's okay. the thing I killed it. And there was okay. another thing I remember. I think it was a Sherman or something. Whoa, good golly, Miss Molly. Go to kills for a second and just... Mm -hmm. you're, you're, I realize it's all infantry, but... Wow. M4s? Yeah. Yeah. Red man definitely show a lot of reds. Yeah, he's just shooting bloody everything, including the BMWs. And the other one, Hernandez, knocking out quite a bit as well. At the same time, in terms of losses, Stug 4. Yep. Did pretty good. Now, that's just against the American infantry. We don't know what he did against the SAS infantry. Mm hmm. As we have no way to actually see that. But, yeah, pretty good match. Uh, both, both sides played really well, so it's the same about the tap out, because Auto probably could have. I think I think the Axis really got a good chance of winning. Yep. If Thermofix stayed in, you no, know, of course, we will never know now. Indeed, but well, you know, Walter was diluting his strength at the end, and yep, mm -hmm. like you said, he might have been able to hold on. Yep, and also like good job to Rawface. He really pushed that northern side. I mean, he pushed well enough to just blow on right through. That's how you play second infantry, just overwhelming numbers and firepower. It's grade A second infantry play. That is absolutely right. Um, but for right now, I think that's going to do it for us for this week in terms of Steel Division coverage, unless something smashing comes up in the next day or two. Bye, bye. Uh, so, folks, that's going to do it for us. Uh, well, Rang, if you have nothing else to say? Nothing at all. All right, folks, in that case, we'll see you all soon. This is Connell Work. I'm Rang Roo. Take it easy.